Hello, Think Keto family, welcome back. Today, we're making avocado oil mayonnaise. If this is your first time with us, don't forget, hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Let's get started, guys. All right, lovelies, as a reminder, everything I'm using today is gonna be right down there in the description below. And then at the end of the video, you'll find a nutritional information card so I don't know why I've always been intimidated by making my own mayonnaise. It just seems like it's such a finicky recipe that I just couldn't possibly seem to get right. But I honestly get sick and tired of every time I need mayonnaise for a recipe, having to run down the street to the grocery store and then spend five to seven dollars for this little bitty jar of it. I just got fed up with it. So I decided to start making my own and this is a really terrific recipe I actually found in a really old cookbook. But it's wonderful you guys have got to try this and once you get the basic stuff out of the way you can really personalize this with you know adjusting the seasonings adding different things to it to make it more how you like it so we're going to get started with this i'm going to show you how i do it so i have my stand mixer here you can obviously also use a hand mixer if you're doing this by hand with a whisk i'm sure it can be done but i think it'll take you a very long time with a lot of effort just fyi so i got my stand mixer here it's Honestly, this is not a kitchen aid. It is a cheap stand mixer I got off of Amazon for like $50. But I love it. It works perfectly fine for me. All right, to start off with, I get two large egg yolks here. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the mixer. And to those two egg yolks, I'm going to have a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Next up, I get two teaspoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And then I'm going to add salt. This is a, a salt and pepper kind of taste recipe. Adjust that up or down as you see fit. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of pink Himalayan sea salt, and then about an eighth of a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. All right, we're gonna turn this on and give it all a mix. All right, that was a very quick mixing, not long, about 10, 15 seconds, just enough to get everything incorporated together. You don't wanna over mix that part. Next up, I've got a cup of avocado oil. This is a super important part here. You're gonna turn the mixer on, you know, medium, medium, high, and then very, very slowly add in your avocado oil. If you do this too quickly, it'll all break down and it's not gonna work out. So this is important here, very slowly. All right, first you're gonna start the food processor and then you're gonna start pouring it in. All right, lovely. So that did take a few minutes, but I got all that oil mixed in. And it is looking like mayonnaise now. At this point, do a little taste test. See if you want to adjust the salt and pepper in any of it. But I personally love it just like that. You might not like as much salt. You might want more. If it's a little too acidic for your taste, you can always add a touch of stevia to it. I personally don't think it needs it. But one thing that I do think it needs, just to finish this off, is I've got two slices of avocado here. I did weigh that out for you. It's about one ounce. Huh, cat hair. <laughs> so I am going to add this and mix it in because I think personally avocado oil mayonnaise needs a little bit of avocado in it. All right, so we're going to mix that in. All right, that only took about a minute to get mixed in. One last taste. That's on point, guys. I could see this going on a gourmet burger. I mean, it's just absolutely delicious. You will love this recipe. All right, so this made up right about one and one third cup of the prepared mayonnaise. I'm gonna store this in the refrigerator. It will last. I've heard conflicting opinions on how long this will last in the refrigerator. I've heard three to five days. I've heard five to seven days. Just as precaution, if it's over a week old, don't eat it. All right, so when it's in that, you know, three to five day range, just sniff it before you use it. I actually made this up to use in another recipe, but um, that'll be coming to you guys soon. But I didn't want to buy any mayonnaise for it, so I want to bring you how I make my own mayonnaise. I hope you guys found this useful. Please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below and share this recipe with anybody that you know that's tired of paying for overpriced avocado oil mayonnaise at the stores. Until next time, guys. Bye.